In other news, a jury has convicted the founder of a failed blood testing company after a nearly four-month trial and seven days of deliberations. Elizabeth Holmes told her investors that her startup Theranos could find abnormalities in tiny blood samples. That was not true. She was found guilty of four counts of fraud and conspiracy. The jury found her not guilty of four other counts and was not able to reach a verdict on three more. As consumer investigative cons correspondent, rather, Anna Warner reports, this is a big win for the government. It's time to appeal. A stoic Elizabeth Holmes held the hands of her mother and husband as she left the San Jose Federal Courthouse Monday afternoon, moments after the verdicts were read. She uh, did not seem to react at all. Reporter uh, Emily Saul has been covering the trial for the podcast Bad Blood, The Final Chapter. She just continued to sit, you know, impeccably straight and listen. Other than that, there, there was no obvious reaction um, to the verdict itself. After they left, she, um, you know, exchanged hugs with her family. Holmes had been considered a visionary who could change the biotech industry with technology she claimed could test for hundreds of health problems with just a few drops of blood. She left Stanford University at 19 to found her company Theranos in 2003. In 2015, she spoke with Nora O'Donnell for CBS Mornings. It sounds genius, but what about those who say that's not enough blood to do all the tests that need to be done, especially if someone's very sick and you're trying to figure out what it is? Every time you create something new, there should be questions. And to me, that's a sign that you've actually done something that uh, is transformative. She was indicted in 2018. Although she was found not guilty on four charges involving bogus test results for patients and the jury deadlocked on three additional counts, they did find she bilked investors out of their money using false claims about the tech that Theranos had developed. Former prosecutor Michelle Hagan says Holmes likely sealed her own fate with investor calls played for the jury. One of the investors recorded the investment call where she made these statements which turned out to be false. So I think her own words incriminated her. Each count here comes with a potential sentence of up to 20 years. Holmes, of course, can appeal, but the Theranos legal drama is not over. Next up, Sonny Balwani, the former COO of the company. His own trial is expected to start, Tony, in February. All right, and a reminder, we have Tyler Schultz, the initial whistleblower in the Theranos case, coming up uh, in our next half hour. Anna, thank you very much.